relative lack of using cutting-edge technology in addressing issues such as the distress of the disease and the apprehensive environment of the hospitals that lead to stress that is, as we all know, a major enemy of healing. So we have come up with a solution, a fresh and different idea of introducing virtual reality in the hospitals. Just imagine a child who's who's really freaked out by the whole environment, and he can go into the comfort of the into the comfort of his imagination and the safety of it. We were very lucky to have a parent and child review, and we can't tell you how positive uh, parents were about it, and they said we are going to love it if something of the sort comes up. Now the future of it is, seems to be really bright, as the as the market says that in coming years, over 10 years or so, they can really say that it would be the second or perhaps at least the third most area in which uh, virtual reality would be introduced and would be helpful, healthcare. The health impact of it are enormous. In fact, they're unlimited. It helps in pain management, it helps in cutting down onto the apprehension, and if you look on to the different uh, scenarios, for example, the patients of burns and children who are going through chemotherapy, they have to go through such an inevitable pain that the conventional methods of child-friendly hospital cannot overcome. So why not have a tech guy who can come in there, especially at the time of apprehensive procedures during their awake stage, and uh, help them get through with it? Or maybe there could also be another idea that we have that it could also be based on a routine, uh, just like a therapist coming into the wards and bringing that up. The business plan and sustainability of it are also very flexible. This, this is one-time cost. It can be used for any age, anywhere, regardless of the machinery that the children are usually surrounded with. No matter how pleasant you make it look like, but it's still at the end of the day, the pain is pain. So virtual reality is really a way out for them. And most importantly, when we really cut down onto the stress elements, we know that this is scientifically proven that the healing is really faster. The body is able to do its job to heal. And we really like to have a prototype, a prototype in which we can really introduce it into a certain ward and see how the outcomes are. And it could be even retracted or recalled if we really don't find it suitable. So it's very flexible for us. sure that kids feel comfortable and understand what is going to happen. And one approach is the more social approach, making sure that they interact more with others in a way that makes them you know, feel comfortable. And this is a completely different approach, which uh, focuses the child more on its own individual interaction with something what we would call virtual reality. Is that right? Yes. Okay. That's just for my understanding. So what, what is going on inside that headset? I wasn't really clear about that. When, when so it's like a computer a computer generated with a headpiece, and usually there's an operator for it, especially if it has to be assisted. So, the, the, so quickly, is he seeing what is happening to him? No, 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 no he can not see. He can be a 3D movie. We'll be taking the patient to a different world. Oh, okay. For example, okay. it will be helping the child for shorter procedures. We need to cannulate the baby, or we need to, uh, the wound dressings to be done. 
So the child will have the headset over. He'll be in a different world by the way. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, and also we have to thank you. Thank you so much.